Hey now, I hope you're doing fine. I want to do a follow-up to my K-Case unboxing video. I made a mistake. I talked about the TV series Batmobile being the super from the case. Well, Chris Zedlitz, he noticed that the uh, actually the Z4 is the super for the K-Case. That's my mistake. But just as an example, if you do find the Batmobile and you have a TH symbol right here, that is the Superized Batmobile, a super treasure hunt. That's not from the K case. Sorry, it's a different case. And it'll have a uh, very similar paint, rubber tires. You're going to look for the TH right here, as you can see in that image that I provided. This is the model actually from the K case. That's a super treasure hunt. Uh, it might be hard to tell in the picture I provided uh, as far as the paint being different, but you definitely can tell it has rubber tires different wheels right you can see they're different not only that it does have a th look right here on the picture it has a th right here and you know super treasure hunts they don't always have a th and that's one reason why i don't tell people to look for the th because they don't always use the th for a super treasure hunt for basic treasure hunts let me use this example right here of fast gas and basic treasure hunts they have the circle flame logo right here and it's actually, it's actually behind the model as well. Uh, most of the time, uh, I do believe it's on the packages with the supers as well. Uh, I should have had one ready. Sorry, didn't get that. But anyways, basic treasure hunts, circle flame logo. Super treasure hunts, which are pretty hard to find. Basics are a bit harder, a bit easier to find. Super treasure hunts, not this car, that one right there that showed in the picture. Those are a lot harder to find. The reason why I have a fast gas and handy because let me talk about a few other things. Uh, well, let's do these. Uh, let, let me take care of this last because I want to finish up shout outs first. Um, Paige Dickinson or the account of Paige Dickinson said mm, he didn't know if uh, he or she didn't know if someone pointed it out. But yeah, one of the muscle speeders was an error and mm, I didn't catch it. As a matter of fact, nobody else commented on it being an error. So uh, yeah, eagle eye. Uh, it took me right here. You look, and look, this one has a uh, busted busted base right here. As you can see, it's a crooked, and the rivet or the spun post is a little off-center. You can see the hole was missed there. But uh, anyway, yep, that's an error. These are kind of fun to collect. I will admit that that is one that I would purchase if I found in the stores. If it, if it was an error where it was flipped upside down or flipped backwards, um, if it was a bent axle, it's not one that I would pick up. I do have an errors playlist if you'd like that. If, you if you'd like to check that out, with the um, and if you don't use the card that's up in the links, you can check the description. I put them down below as well. Now in the race grooves community on Facebook, Zachary Gamble noticed a difference with the Subaru WRX STI. And a lot more of these have turned up. I do, do believe that DCTV found them. And if you look at this part right here, and then you look at the one at the top, I'm gonna get up closer. You can see that one, the license plate, it looks normal. It fits just right. But then when you look at this one, it's like a tongue sticking out. And in looking at it, I think, uh, I think they have two different bodies. Uh, I don't think this is an error because other people are finding this as well. If you notice the gap right here, there's a gap right there and it's thin metal on top. Well, right here, this, this metal part right here is thicker and there's not a big gap for the license plate to stick, stick through. I assume that's a license plate. So they have two different body styles. And so, well, that's a variation that you might want to look for. As far, I don't think this is the variation. I think this is sticking out differently because something's going on on the inside for this casting. That's just my opinion. I'm not going to uh, drill it apart to find out exactly why it is doing it. But if you like the Subaru WRX STI, you're probably going to want to look for that variation. That's something special for your collection. Now let me go ahead and talk about this from the uh, K case. I talked about fast gassing. This car was not in the K case. This might be international. I don't even know what case this came from. This is from, uh, this sample is from 20, I don't see it, but the copyright is 2013. So it could be a 2014 release. I don't see it, but I, I opened up this treasure hunt to check it out. But 
Here's fast gas in and here it is with the single axle and you could tell before it had a double axle. And I was curious, they took off, uh, they removed one of the axles, so now we just have front and rear axles, front and rear, front and rear axles. Nothing here. Did the length of the, uh, the vehicle change? Is it the same? Or is it going to be shorter, longer? Because they made it different. Look right here. Before, they just had this little spot for these um, accessories. Or I assume this is where you would plug things, meters and stuff, keeping track of the fuel. So look, they made this part bigger. But let's see if the, the actual truck winds up being the same length after all that is done. Uh, this one's from the K case. Let's see if there's a difference in length. Sew them up together. Yeah, it wound up being shorter. So not only did it lose an axle, it wound up being shorter as well. Is it a big deal? Mm, you know. Why? Why can't it's a fantasy model? Why you could I think you should be able to put a double axle on there. Um, they might do it because of production issues. Maybe it causes difficulty for them to get two axles in there. I don't know. Don't work at the plant. I have no idea. I mean, this looks fine as it is. If you're a newer collector, maybe you're going to want to look for the a, a sample of the older version so that you have one with dually, dual rear axles in the back. It's not dualies because dualies would be double tires right here. And let's see, the last thing I want to talk about for this follow-up video for that K case, uh, let's see, was the roll of Maddox right there. I opened up Crate Racer, and it's part of the, um, what are they calling this series? When they, I thought they were having a name where it moved, but I guess not. It's HW City Works. How can be a, it can't be a track star. That, uh, when people suggest this for track time, by the way, don't make suggestions here for this case. I'll give a link to that video, and when you watch that unboxing video, that's where you put your suggestions for track time just like I did this video here for the 2015 K case track time not K Q 2015 Q case I'll give a link to that as well the people who got shout outs in that video they watched the Q unboxing video and they happened to get a shout out so that's how you get your shout outs but I can't imagine this being a track star you know this thing's going to be rolling down the track and this little nub right here See that nub sticking out on the tire? This little nub, where'd you go? There you are. See this little nub? This hits something inside the model to make the uh, engine rock back and forth. And if something's hitting the wheels, that can't make it a track star. That thing's gonna be, that thing's gonna be stop, stop, stop. It's gonna slow down every time this thing spins around and hits that uh, thing inside. So when the wheels make this rock and back and forth, here you have, mm, I forgot his name, the shark. It's not Shark Cruiser, it's the new Shark one. But anyways, uh, with this one, this moves, this, you see this piece right there, see on the inside of the wheel? As that, that hits this arm and causes his jaw to move up and down. You know what's cool? Somebody, somebody found the shark without this piece right here as an error. That, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how he's going to eat if he has no lower teeth. But uh, this is, you'll, you'll have, you'll, you'll, you will hear people talk about Rollomatics. Matchbox, way long time ago. I'm um, looking for a trademark date. This is back in the uh, 60s or 70s. I'm not sure. I don't see a trademark date. Old. Well, maybe on the bottom of the card will have it. But we'll, let's go ahead and open up this. Matchbox Rollomatix. Made in England. And right here it says uh, 1973. So uh, is this a Lesney by 1973? Yeah, Lesney Products. That's before they were sold to somebody else and then somebody else, and now Mattel has the brand. But same thing, you look at the wheel, and it has that thing right there. It has this little piece you can see sticking up. Or can you? Let me get it. It's kind of hard. It's a lot smaller than the current version. It's just like a pin, whereas with these, they have like a big old bar. It's a lot bigger on these. But when that spins around, it would cause uh, this guy to move around. Let me go ahead and move the camera and show you. Here's the shark card. Sorry, I forgot his name. But when he rolls, see his mouth move? So that bar, that bar on the wheel hits a device and it causes his mouth to move. And here's Crate Racer. 
that same bar, I should do it going away because then you can see, you can see it better when it moves. It rocks back side to side. And then this here, you can watch the dude on top. Watch the dude, he'll spin around. As a matter of fact, let's uh let's back up and let's uh let's follow him along the table here. Ready? Okay, he's looking right at you. Go. Turn, turn. Sometimes that that little thing sticks on the let me pick up the camera. Might be making too much noise for you. Sorry. And if you hear pounding, sorry, the unit, the unit next to me, I'm in my studio warehouse here. And somebody's building and pounding over there. Can't wait. I got videos to make. I got to go. I'm using a microphone, so maybe you can't hear it. Did you see a move? So that little rollomatic feature causes the guy in the middle to move. Kind of a little fun thing to do with your cars. That's what they're for, right? Have fun with your cars. In the meantime, hey, thanks for the thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this follow-up video to the 2016 K Case Assortment. And thanks for the comments. When you leave a thoughtful comment, sometimes they wind up in a video like this. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.